So now we're going to have a quick look at thirds and indices and the important rules that you need to know. A quick derivation of a couple of the simpler ones so that you can work them out in the exam if you need to. So the indices laws, their importance, that's the power laws. So when you're timesing powers, adding powers, powering powers, things like that that you need to know for the exam. So let's take a look at an example and see what we can derive from it. So if we're doing 2 squared times 2 cubed, this is the same as 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, times 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2. And then you see you've got 5 2s there, so that's the same as 2 to the power of 5. And 2 to the power of 5, well the 5 is 2 plus 3, so that's not a coincidence, that's a particular rule. So that's a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. <coughs> the same thing can be done for dividing. So you've got 2 times to the power of 5, which is 5 2s, divided by 2 to the power of 2. And 2 of these 2s from the top and the bottom cancel out. Which means you're left with 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. So you've got the same thing as before. The same rule, but instead of a times here, you've got a divide. Instead of a plus, you've got a minus. So that's our second important rule. The third kind of key rule is um, doing a power of a power. So 2 squared is 2 times 2. And if you cube that, then you're doing 2 times 2 times by itself another 2 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which means you've got a total of 6 twos. So 2 to the power of 6. <clears throat> and that's the same as doing this 2 here times the 3 there. So that's our third key rule. So a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of mn, so m times n. And these three are probably the most important ones that you need to remember. There are a few other ones as well. So anything to the power of 0 is 1, you need to know that. So if you did 100 to the power of 0, it's 1. If you did 1 to the power of 0, it's 1. No matter what the number is, A, it will always be 1. So A to the minus 1 is 1 over A, and A to the minus M is 1 over A to the power of M. So a negative power means it's 1 over that thing powered. A to the power of a half is root A, and A to the power of 1 over M is M the nth root of a. So 1 over the power means that you're doing a root of it. Likewise if you've got um, a fractional power, so that's not too clear, that's n over m, then that's equal to um, 1 over m uh, all to the power of n, which um, if you kind of combine the rule above and the power rules that were in the previous um, page then um, you're doing the root of it, the nth root of it, all to the power of n. Now we'll take a look at some thirds. So they're important, that's when you've got something that's a square root. So you've got root a plus a plus root a, where you're just adding two things together. Treat the root a's like a variable x as you usually would. If you did x plus x, then it would be 2x. So if you've got root a plus root a, then it's 2 root a. So that means if it was 6x minus 2x, then you'd get 4x. 6 root a minus 2 root a is 4 root a. If you're doing root a times root a, if we look at this rule, we're adding the powers, or likewise this rule, which is the same power. So now you're doing a to the power of a half times a to the power of a half. That's half plus a half. That's a to the power of 1. A time, root a times root b is the square root of a times b, so you just combine it together and put it under the fraction. And if you did root a over root b, then it's the same as root a divided by root b, so you can split it up. Um, running out of a little bit of time on this video, so the next video um, up there will be rationalising thirds. So if you want to have a little look at that, then um, just go on to my channel and you'll um, see how we rationalise thirds both when it's over a single root and when it's over a um, more complicated root. Okay, thanks for watching.